What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Hey, guys, every now and then, you guys are awesome. You'll send in some of your own finds and say, hey, Chris, have a look at this. Well, I've got one of those for you today. This comes from Pete and Rosie. They wrote, hey, Chris, great channel. Been watching on YouTube for a long while and now, mate, in Australia. And I was checking out a Gigapan with my wife, and we found these. Looks like a brick wall with carvings and an arch buried and also a chimney thing on top. Broken in a pipe of so or something hanging over the front. See if you can check it out. Cheers, Pete and Rosie. Cheers back to you guys. Uh, great finds. Now, once I opened this um, Giga Pan up, I went, oh, wow, I did a video on this one. But not this particular area. At least I don't remember mentioning it. But I do mention the other side on the left-hand side. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So, here's the pan right here. And it's from uh, Sol 1448. Uh, what's up in the sky? Will from What's Up in the Sky had done this pan. So uh, thank you, Will, for doing that. And you see it was posted on December 11th, 2017. Um, and you can see it's basically one gigapixel, right? Which is still quite large, but not super large, right? All right. So I'm not sure how big this actual area is. Now, if we would assume that the rover is literally just sitting outside this frame, then this photo is really not that big, guys, right? So... First thing I've noticed right here, now I don't know if you guys notice this, but this just reminds me of walls, man. It reminds me of walls that were, uh, like some structure was there at one point uh, in the side of this hillside. And maybe this is the reason why we can find this arch and this other pieces in here. Now what I said earlier was that I had done this area right here. This whole area I had literally pulled apart. Like this face right here, which looks like some kind of statue head or something like that. Looks like this piece right here almost looks like it's boxed in type thing. See that right there? Got these really weird looking, you know, shapes in here. You know, stuff like that. However, both Pete and Rosie sent me this over here. And you can find it up in here. Now, this is kind of mind-blowing, man. Look at this thing. It does look like some kind of weird arch. And I'll zoom right in for you guys. In fact, we'll do this. Go in a little bit further. Check this out. And it does look like some kind of arch thing, and it has what looks like, well, to me, it almost looks like half of a chimney, right? At least it has that look to it. Another thing you'll find is something right here. Right here, you can see what almost looks like this rectangular piece, and I'll put it right in the middle of the screen. You can see this edge right here, going to the right, nice 90-degree corner, and going back. And it appears to have some kind of black circle or some kind of detail in it, right? But what you'll also notice, and you'll see this once we enhance this a little bit more, is that it has almost another arch right here. It does this right here, and I'll put it right here in the middle of the screen, right here, okay? And it has this little fine separation, what looks like two little round black areas. All right, and you can also see something else. I don't know if you guys see this, but it almost looks like this weird piece right here. It has this nice round 90 degree angle like the type thing right here. And it looks like it goes behind these, it may be brick. We don't know, right? But it goes down and comes, appears to come down, or it just stops right there, and this almost appears like it's extended piece of it, right? All right. This right here is kind of weird to me as well, and you will find that this is nothing more than a manipulation obfuscation because this actually, you can pull this out. The rest of this piece comes out over here. Let's get into that. And, of course, guys, you will get the link as always. A lot of cool stuff in here to see. That's like stuff right here. Again, you'll be able to check this thing out. Like I said, I've done a video on this left-hand side of it. It's really, really interesting stuff. So much to see. And again, to me, guys, this reminds me of like walls and stuff. And I'm not even sure. There might be a space in between because you can see like that sand or whatever there is right there. So I'm not sure if there's a space in between there. But uh, really interesting, right? Okay. Now, here's the area that we're looking at. I'm going to just slide this over here a bit. All right, I started to get into this photo, and I wanted to really enhance this, find out what we can really find in here. So let me go ahead and get rid of some of the crappier color. You can see it a little bit different, not a whole lot, but a little brighter and stuff like that. And what I do is, like I said, I went into this area here, and you can see this right here. Comes down, goes across. Of course, that's not 100% straight, but you get the idea. And you've got this piece right here. And you can just barely see this this piece right here, right? It goes like this. Looks like a fine line right there. And you can almost see the edge like this going like this. 
with these two little circles. It's kind of strange. It, it's like like that there, right? All right, let's get into this more. I'm going to take each step and show you guys. I burned this away here a little bit on here to see if we can go any further. And you can see this area right here. I was able to bring out just a hair bit more right there. Because there's actually more to this photo. Let's keep going. All right. So I started to burn. And guess what, guys? There's more stuff to this, man. This, this piece here actually goes into this more. So that's not just what you see. In other words, that's not it. That's not the end of it. This right here is nothing more than obfuscation. That's all it is. You can see things in the background here. Or in this manipulation. Kind of looks like it's doing that there. There's something else right here. Okay. And again, we have more extended piece here of this arch a little bit more. Right in here. And we have something dark. I'm not sure what to make of this. Almost like there's something like a hole or something because it's the same color here in the center of this as is on this side of this right here. And we can also see something right here. Okay. Let's keep going with this. Okay. Let's make it a little bit darker. And look at this stuff, guys. This does not look like something that's natural. Whatever this thing is, it goes into it, into this manipulation. All we had to do is just bring out the lines. That's all we had to do. Okay. Now... Here's that little arch thing I was telling you about. And you can see the other line to this right here. Whatever that is, right there. And this does actually, in fact, look like some kind of weird chimney type thing, right? Is it a chimney? There's no way of knowing this. However, the way it's shaped, the way we see it, it looks something similar to a chimney. Now, it may be an actual uh, pot to a structure or something like that. Judging by what we're seeing here, this arch. That looks like something's falling on it right there. But I also want you guys to look at the detail. Check this out. We have something that does this. Kind of goes like this. It almost has like a little bit of an arch shape and goes back up as well. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that, but check that out. Take note of the little pieces. Here. They almost look like they're evenly apart. Now, can nature do that? I don't think so. It appears there's something else in here as well. See this right here? Got this semi-round piece or half-round piece right here. Go over it a couple times right there. And, and it almost has like a black center. Almost like something's round. Like it would be something like almost let's let's think of it as a wheel type thing, and we're only seeing just quarter or maybe half of this thing, right? Not sure what it is, but that is pretty interesting in itself. Good eye on this, Pete and Rosie. This is awesome. Now you can still look around and see other pieces laying here, like something appears to be smooth, but then it's completely taken out right here. You can see it right in this very tip, right there. Like it's clear, and then the rest of it's in this garbage, right? Go black and white on this. Back up just a hair bit. Check this thing out, guys. Are we sure that's actually natural? I don't believe that it is. Some interesting things at the top of this hill as well. Right here. Put a little color back into it. Check that out. Now, because these are not very clear, it is hard to actually see it. But, nonetheless, stuff is there. Put a little bit more shopping into that. What do you guys think? Check this out. They were saying something about some writings here. I'm not sure if it's writings or if it's an actual... Like, almost like... I'm going to use the term compartments. Because I'm seeing... Well, I went a little too far with that, but it went like this. 
And it looks like some kind of little square compartment. Then it looks like there's something here. Doing this, kind of does this. We got another thing here. Now this might be some kind of weird writing. I'm not sure. But as you can see, guys, there is a difference, man. Look at this. This is cool. You can literally see now the actual pieces in here. Like this thing continues on. They want you to believe that this is some kind of rock, but it actually comes down. You can almost see it going through here. Right there, but it's very faint here. Kind of doing this here, but check that out. Whatever these things are, I think it's cool. And it would make sense if this is truly down the bottom here. In the pan. That this is some kind of wall structure. Here it is right on top. Now, the way this looks, this right here in the front, it looks like it's not that far from the very tip of this to the actual arch. So it's hard to tell. But... If let's say it's actually a couple feet into it and this thing actually is bigger than this. We don't know, right? Another interesting little piece right here. Can I see that? Right there in the middle of the screen. This piece right here. It's kind of rounded. Has this piece going off. See that? In the back, I'm gonna put it directly in the middle. What is that? It seems like there's a lot more to this stuff, guys. There's way more than what we're seeing here. We're only seeing the tip of the iceberg. It's just awesome to see, right? Look at this right here. Some of these things on the, what these rocks are. Look at this. Nice little white square sitting on top. Got some real funky shapes up in here. On the top of this hill. Oh, it's just, just a lot to see here, guys. There's so much here. Look at this. That almost looks like some kind of weird kind of piping going in from one side to another. Look at this. It has this top nice and straight across. But all of this... Chaotic rock and different shapes and everything else. We've got this nice flat rock in between. See that? And then you get this pieces underneath it. What are we looking at here? Almost looks at the front of something here. I, I don't know. No idea what that stuff is. I always thought this was bull, too, the way these things lay here like that. Look at this. That, that wouldn't just fall off a mountain. Square piece right here. Into this hillside. See that? Pieces at the top here. I mean, you guys will just be able to go over all of this uh, just piece by piece. Look at this. You can see that, but you can see like this piece right here on the side of it. It's like semi-round or has like an arch type thing to it. Look at these pieces right here. It's got a whited piece and it's and it's got it's uh, actually part of this darker piece surrounding it right there. Check that out, guys. Looks to have some kind of weird flat piece underneath, like white piece. <laughs> a lot of cool stuff. A lot of really cool stuff. Look at this. How does that not look like mechanical to some people? Look at that. That's cool. Like I said, I've done a video on this a while back. Uh, this might have been a good year or two ago. So much in here to see. But again, guys, you will get the link to this, as always, so you guys can investigate and research this yourself. Something way at the top here, sticking straight out. And there you are, guys. Anyway, thank you, Pete and Rosie. Thank you for submitting this. You know, this is just, to me, this just screams intelligently made. Um... A lot of people don't believe a lot of this has been manipulated and obfuscated, but the proof is in the pudding here, guys. Check this out. And there's more to this thing than you see in that other photo here. Just so much more. All right, guys, what are we seeing in here? I'm seeing what looks like intelligently made objects, especially with the details in that arch. The thing what looks like a chimney type thing. Now, that could be anything. But to me, it looks intelligently made regardless of what it is, right? As always, guys, please like, share, and comment, and throw your thoughts below. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. We definitely want to get this information out, right? Anyway, guys, got some more cool stuff coming up. We got some more Mars. We got some more moon photos. 
just a bunch of stuff coming up for you guys. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. You guys have yourself a good evening and a good day tomorrow. Peace, guys.